so i'm here again with a different topic and in this topic we are going to explore content library which is very interesting topic i would say in last topics we discussed about the software defined data center explained about the vSphere components deploy an esxi host deploy vcenter server plans and once we have all these in place we need a library which keeps the templates which keeps like you have cd bag you have floppy containers you have almira you have different different things you keep the gadgets to keep the contents right so the same way like we have ioso image in virtual environment we have ioso image uh, we have folders we have ovia files and different different things we have so that is segregated to a different place and that was in earlier versions uh, we didn't have this content library feature starting from 6.0 vmware introduced content library which keeps the iso image especially like or any file in a single location and you can create a cache and access it through a centralized path and everyone will have you can have can see the uh, contents of that library whatever whoever have access to that library will be able to see that and will be able to use that like in earlier version what was uh, the issue so let's take a example we have one iso of windows operating system and i want to create a virtual machine to install uh, that i need iso image if i am a new administrator i don't know where is that file so i'll have to ask with the oh, my mate with my colleague that hey i want to go for the os installation of a virtual machine can i have that iso path so he'll tell you yes here is the path but here in starting from 6.0 and 6.5 we have content library feature you will directly go to the content library plugin which is in vcenter itself you will just double click there or you will be able to see all content library access you have and you can able to use uh, that iso images and similar to that we have other files you can store to that and you can create a cache of that like you can get if you have one v center and you have content library over there you can access the same content library in a different server a different virtual center server so in this topic we'll see how to create what is content library what is how we'll create <laughs> content library and how to use that and what type of content library we have so basically a content library is a container object as i said that for different different things you buy a container right so the same thing like for books you have almira you for cd uh, you have cd bag so the same thing in virtual environment for iso images you have content container which is called content library and it was introduced in 6.0 it's not new in 6.5 though there are new features but in it was introduced from 6.0 itself so it help us to store templates v apps or other files in a centralized location and which can be accessible to different servers different virtual center servers you can also upload other file types like such as iso images text file and so on in a content library and templates v apps are file and files are known as library items so whenever you will install you will uh, keep these files uh, it, uh, these uh, these all are known as uh, library items uh, it can be shared across multiple v center as i said that it uh, once you have content library in place it can be accessible to a different uh, virtual center server and you don't have to go here and there for getting a iso images or any file you'll have a you have a content library path you have a link for that and you'll able to use and you'll just browse that and use the iso directly from there and vmware 6.5 enhanced performance and recoverability of content library which was not in 6.0 so there are two types of content library one is local library one is subscribed library what is local library local library it store items in a single vcenter instance and publish the local library to make it accessible from other vcenter server you have a vcenter server you created a local library and you have published it 
now you have published it you can subscribe the for that library and uh, whatever library you have published here you can subscribe here so that is kind of subscribe library and create the subscribe library in the same vCenter instance where the published library is or in a different vCenter server also you can download all content immediately or only metadata which is kind of catalog on a subs subscribe library so once you will subscribe on library you will able to see the contents of a, that local library right and you will able to you'll be able to download all the files in one go or you can download whatever uses you have like you have there are multiple iso images for windows 2012 2016 linux and ubuntu uh, and you need just one windows 2010 you can you can only download that uh, file and start using uh, that in your vcenter server so this is all we have content library in vcenter 6.5 now we'll jump to the lab and we'll see how to create and use content library so thanks for watching this theory and we'll definitely go to the practical part please stay don't leave this video now i'll uh, i'm going to jump to the lab and we'll sh show you that how to create and use the content library so thanks for watching thanks for coming here thanks for uh, completing the theory part now let's jump to the uh, lab before that just want to request you if you like this video if these are the useful for you for the daily uses please subscribe my channel please like this video please give a thumbs up please share it with your friends so that they can also get some benefit from this so stay tuned and let's jump to the lab thanks